the NHRA posse rolled into the heartland of the United States of America for the Menards NHRA Nationals presented by Pet Armor. Here at Heartland Motorsports Park, the Lucas Oil Drag Racing contingency of the NHRA was in competition, including the stars of Top Alcohol Dragster and Top Alcohol Funny Car. We had not seen the Alki competitors at a national event since Pacific Raceways and the Northwest Nationals, where in the floppers, Doug Gordon took the event championship, and in the dragsters, Jackie Frick earned her first Wally of 2023. Since that time, though, rolling into this event at Heartland Motorsports Park, there had been regional action. In fact, even right here at Heartland Motorsports Park. Kyle Smith, the defending Central Region Champion in the Floppers, he took a Wally at the regional action at this track. And Julie Natus, the at the time points leader for the Dragsters in the national standings, she won an event Wally in a Randy Meyer racing machine. On the East Coast, there was regional action. Maple Grove Raceway taking up a divisional and regional event with the shocking sale of Adco Dragway. The alcohol competitors that won there, Matt Gill in Funny Car and Tony Stewart in his McPhillips Racing Top Alcohol Dragster wins his second regional of the year, second regional of his career, and for the first time, takes the national points lead from Julie Natus, who had held it since the Gator Nationals. Here at this event, just south of Topeka, Kansas, at the Heartland Motorsports Park venue, we had a full field of top alcohol dragsters. Only seven funny cars competed in this event, which I'm surprised that that is the case. I was expecting more funny cars here, especially with alcohol to be contested north at Brainerd for that national event. Those that were here though, serious points implications on the line with such competitors such as Doug Gordon, Bob McCosh, and Brian Howe. In qualifying in the Dragsters, Mike Lewis, yes that Mike Lewis of NHRA fame and him being a legend in his own right in the sport, at the wheel of the Samsels racing machine showed the best performance. He went into the third session and last session as the provisional number one qualifier. And though Julie Natus did take away the number one spot for a moment, Mike Lewis was able to take it back to be number one qualifier going in to eliminations. for Mike Lewis in the cockpit of an A-field dragster, but he's with a team that certainly can get the car down the track in Samsung Racing, and you got down as number one before eliminations, Mike. Amazing. This team, 90 degrees, and we just won 524. <clears throat> Picked up a tenth of a second from last night um, and ran, I've never been 232 miles an hour at half track, and we just did it on a on a racetrack that's probably 135 degrees. So, uh, Tony, Robin, they're amazing. Uh, the rest of the guys on the team, Grace and Dave and Pete, love working with these guys. And just really blessed to have the opportunity, thanks to Joe Maynard and the people at Skag, Ursa Tran, and Middlecraft of Mayville. Doug Gordon made his mark with the top performance in funny car competition and continues to show that the loss of one bullet at Pacific Raceways and the loading up of another, it certainly must have a few more grains of powder in that combination. The team of ladies and Doug Gordon are number one here in Topeka, Kansas. 
Doug, it looks like that engine explosion all the way back at Pacific Raceways keeps getting better and better for the team. <laughs> yeah, I know it was. That, uh, we started making some big power after that, but you know, here it's so hot, you know, the track is so hot, we're, we're not applying all of our power here, it's just a matter of trying to get it down, so all the cars are really tight, you know, and we were lucky, you know, coming to the last session there, we're, we're kind of, we fell behind the eight ball there, but we got back to the top, so we're going to go into eliminations number one, super excited about that, and uh, we'll see if we can keep it going. Round one of eliminations for top alcohol dragster were as if the top point runners in the nation were a part of the Dalton gang riding into Coffeeville. They were dropped shot after shot. Defending world champion Joey Severance out. Carl Brunkowski prevailing over him. Championship contender number two in points, Julie Natus out. James Stevens turning on the win light. Jackie Frick with a red light with her brakes not holding and her rolling the beams, she's out. Shane Conway moving on. Rich McPhillips Jr., who has a stellar record in the family racing operation when he does race, out. And then Matt Cummings, he goes down as well. Terry Schmidt with the win in round one. The only one of the top point runners in the nation to make it past round one was Sean Cowie but he wouldn't be able to make up much ground on Julie Natus or Tony Stewart with Hunter Green in the way. Going into the semifinals, Mike Lewis being the number one qualifier and top performing car, it seemed that he would have a triumphant return to the cockpit holding the Samsung's racing wheel. But Randy Meyer pouring it all in with Hunter Green left, put up a statement pass. Shane Conway and James Stevens were the pair on the other side of the ladder for the semifinals. The top alcohol dragster final here at Heartland Motorsports Park would pit against each other legendary names of the category. Meyer, Conway, though the drivers behind the wheel were aiming for their first ever national event victories. Shane Conway, Hunter Green looking for their first Wally. <laughs> Right there is on the chest of a first time national event winner in Mr. Hunter Green. And Mr. Green, this certainly has to give you a sense of accomplishment. Getting to this win has not been easy. There's been some ups, there's been some downs. How's it feel to be a winner? I've made so many mistakes this year. Like you said, there's been a lot of downs, but it's been a long road for me and my dad both. I mean, we haven't gotten a lot of these trophies yet. You know, this might be the last race at Heartland Motorsports Park and Randy, this is one of his home tracks. He's not far from here. And for it to be my first win, yeah, this is a special one. It's been a long, hot weekend. You know, we didn't think we would escape the rain, but we did it. We got the win, got it done. 
When's top fuel? Man, as soon as I can. Next year, that'd be great. You no, know, originally we wanted to do it this year, but you know how that is. I mean, we're still working on building this thing, getting sponsors and everything, but as soon as we can, we want to get into top fuel. With the floppers in round one of competition, Kyle Smith, the defending Central Region champion and the recent winner of the regional action here at Topeka, was certainly looking to continue to ride an up on an up and down year so far in 2023. But he would face the number two qualifier, Ulf Lenders, who put him on a downswing. Bob McCosh was back in competition for the first time at a national event since his first ever national event career win back at Norwalk. And he was looking to gain ground on the top point runners in the championship standings as he has been clear that 2023 is a concerted effort for a championship run for him and his team. Christine Foster, well, she didn't care about Bob's desires, but I'm certain she wishes she could get that round one back. Semi-final action would showcase a rematch from Pacific Raceways in the Northwest Nationals here in Topeka between Brian Howe and Doug Gordon. The man that's looking for his first ever championship, Bob McCosh, would have to face Ulf Lenders, who has four championships to his credit across the pond in Europe. The final round pitted the number one qualifier, Doug Gordon, against the number two qualifier, Ulf Lenders, for the final national event Wally for Top Alcohol Funny Car here at Heartland Motorsports Park. Doug Gordon wins again. You come in with the points lead from Pacific Raceways, the last national event alcohol was at. You're certainly going to stretch that lead 
today with this win because everybody that needed to gain on you, they went out, didn't go the rounds. Yeah, this was a big weekend. I mean, uh, you know, the round against Hal was huge. I know that he's got a, he's got a shot at things. He's won some races, and Ulf is just always tough, you know. So there was a lot of tough rounds, you know, but we, we performed like we needed to perform. I cut lights when we needed to cut lights, and, uh, you know, in the final, we ended up, the track temperature went down, and we're like, okay, let's get after it. We revved it up big at the starting line, and, uh, man, the front end came up. I'm like, uh-oh, and it started going left. It was getting out of the groove. I'm like, no, come on, come on. I ended up pro I probably revved up to 11,000 in low gear. You know, I'm like, don't kick the rods out of it. But uh, we got the win, and now we're in the rush trying to get this thing loaded up before the rain hits. But, uh, man, what a what exhilarating deal. Doug Gordon, the champion here at Topeka. In conclusion, congratulations to Hunter Green picking up his first ever NHRA national event walling. Congratulations to Doug Gordon in the top alcohol funny car ranks for his win. He also extends his points lead. In top alcohol dragster, the competitors atop the points were not able to gain on the man at the top, being Tony Stewart. The alcohol competitors will roll on northward to Brainerd for that NHRA national event. It's certainly sad to see and to hear that this very well may be the last NHRA national event at Heartland Motorsports Park. This is a venue that I have only been able to attend two times, but it is a venue that I certainly do enjoy visiting, and it is my hope that we will be able to come back here. If not, Hunter Green and Doug Gordon are the last event victors of the NHRA national event in the top alcohol ranks. This top alcohol report brought to you by McKinney Corp. I'm Lee Kraft, the Monday Morning Racer.